Hello everyone, this is David Moffat from Axe Annex Tabletop Gaming and today I have a little update video just to show you how these assembled Kids Logic miniatures compared to the RPG Tactics ones. The so first thing you're going to see is that the Kids Logic ones are they're a little tinier. Let's see for the shot here. This guy's standing up straight. It's crouched a little, which will make it for a bit of a height difference, but definitely smaller, and definitely far more detailed. And definitely none of the gaps she need to fill that you see in these guys. Gaps such as in the legs back here. Forearms here. Ah, that's the worst defenders on this guy. There'll be a little bit of the gaps in here, but I don't think those will affect the paint job too much. That was the first one I built quite a few years ago. This one I built this summer. So just a bit of these little gaps here. I can feel. To patch those up a little more. But otherwise. And these are the, basically the two poses you can get out of the sprue. You get one guy who's standing, and one guy who's got his leg cocked. Kids Logic, you just get this one pose for this one character. Because he is a character model, he's not a rank and file. This is Rick Hunter as a VF1J. Next up, we have the fighter mode. I've put them both on flight stands now. I drilled through the gun barrel on both of them, on the gun pod. And yeah, this fighter, the kids' logic one, is definitely tinier than the Robotech RPG Tactics one. But look at all those details. The fighter is beautiful. It's got a lot of characters, it's got like more of a a bump, cartoonish bump here, I would say. This guy's just kind of a sleek and straight fighter. But yeah, pretty phenomenal. The detailing on that guy. Overall, the fighters are pretty good for RPG tactics. The only problem was the nose here. You have to hold it down for the glue. Let's see. I'll have to do a little bit of sanding there. This guy was pretty much like good to go out of the box. So you didn't have to put any effort to it. The only effort I put into it was drilling in for the uh, flight stand, and you don't need to do that because it comes with its own flight stand. I just like these ones. I like how they look better. And the last ones are the Guardian mode, or the Gerwalk, or perhaps the Gerwalk. I do not know which way it is pronounced. Maybe someone can tell me in the comments. That would be very helpful. Just like now I know how to pronounce Valkyrie and Palladium. So once again, smaller and far more detailed, and a lot less effort, that's for sure. But yeah, the arms especially, you can tell, like, they're tiny, compared to the uh, Robotech RPG Tactics ones. But quite nice. Lots of detail. It's supposed to be detailed in this one, but the detailing does not come through with that guy. And these ones, I just drilled a hole in the bottom and stuck them. I can pop them back off again. And so for things that you have to work on for the RPG Tactics are, of course, the gaps where you have to join the seams there. And there. These aren't the worst offenders, since when you have them on the tabletop, you won't see it. It's really just the seams and the legs that you got to work on. You know, I'm looking at it, I kind of wish I had not assembled it all the way before. A little bit of sanding there. Well, that's okay. A little speed. Further challenge. And this guy you have to hold together too here, so don't need to sand it. But this one, for some reason, just lines up better than the fighter. I don't know why. There we are. That's my comparison of built RPG tactics models versus the kids' logic ones. Well, hopefully this also was helpful for you. Thanks for watching.
talk to you later. Bye-bye.